Welcome back to Educator.com. This is QuickBooks lesson customizing forms and writing QuickBooks letters. Now in QuickBooks, we have a variety of reasons to write uh, uh, letters and, and, and create different invoices. And luckily, QuickBooks allows us to customize our invoices and customize our forms to work with better with our business and, of course, adding our logo to it. So, in order to customize that, we're going to go ahead and open up our invoice window. And what I'll have you do is go to your icon bar and click on invoice. Or you can go to your customer center. And once you're in your customer center, <clears throat> we can go ahead and, and create a, a, a new a new invoice. Okay. I'm not going to have a, a person in there just yet. So when we have our new one, invoice up, we'll notice up in the very top, we'll have our icon bar and our create invoice window. It says previous and next and save and print and save and send and create and ship and blah, blah, blah. But until we get over to this little icon that says custom and it has a little ruler and, and a pencil there and we can actually customize our invoices. So we can actually create and customize a, a new design or layout or manage the existing templates that we have. And first off, we want to say, you know, see how we can actually customize or design our, our invoices. So with this particular invoice, let's customize that. I have a couple options there. We can say manage templates. So under customize, I'm going to say manage templates and it'll show us the templates that QuickBooks has already created for us. There's a progress invoice, um, finance charge, packing slips, etc. Progress invoices there too. So this is a rock castle for this particular uh, entity has a standard invoice and we'll use the standard invoice here. And uh, we'll see the display of it on the right side. <clears throat> when we hit OK, it'll bring us into some options of this invoice and how we can customize that and, and do different things. We can actually pull in our logo if we wanted to. And, and in order to do that, it gives us the option of logo and fonts. And we can use a logo. And we can select uh, logos from our uh, from our image cat uh, category that we might have downloaded. And then we can pull that in there. Um, so this is how we kind of get around to it. And this is what we can do to customize our invoices. The next section, though, is what we want to do is um, how to use these forms and and look at some new forms too. So that's our managing those. But if we want to download some additional uh, download some additional designs and, and invoices, we can do that by using the customize button and say customize design layout. Now here we can customize uh, a data layout, and that's customizing the data layout on our form, and we can add and remove columns, etc or we can create a new one. So we can do a new design by saying create new design and it's going to go online and look at some Intuit forms that are available for you to download. And it has some colored forms and things that you might find appealing to you. So here under this section, here's some different invoices. This is a, a blue circles invoice. You might have seen people using this in your, as a customer. You might have received uh, invoices with this type of uh, form. You can do a blank one. You can look at a blue screen here um, and, and see what that looks like. And uh, so the blue screen is, looks nice and appealing. You can look at a, a variety of, of templates that they have available through online. There's a clover one, there's a bakery, and, you know, peas, and etc. So there's, there's lots of different available things that you can actually download and and get for free from from Intuit. So once you like it, you can go ahead and and, and download it down for yourself. I'm going to get out of that area, but that gives you an idea what you can use. Going back to the design and layout area, we can actually customize data layout and that goes directly to the invoice that we're in. And this is where we can customize our, our invoice. There's a couple of ways of getting to that this section. And I'll show you. You can either go to through the custom bar, custom bar, and say custom design and layout. And by choosing custom, customized data layout, it brings it right to this. Or if you go into your manage templates, and you say OK by choosing which which template you want to use, you say OK, it'll bring you to that same area. 
by saying um, by saying the uh, additional customization, and it'll pull it right here as well. So now you have the same section that we were just in, and this gives you some options 